Thank you, Mr Speaker, and it's a pleasure to welcome yet another Deputy Prime Minister to the dispatch box, the third deputy that I've faced in three years. And you know what they say? The third time's a charm. And, and I'm also pleased to note, Mr Speaker, that the Prime Minister has a working-class friend, finally. <laughs> I seem to remember that after the loss of 300 Conservative seats at last year's local elections, the right honourable gentleman resigned, saying someone must take responsibility. After a thousand more Conservative councillors have been given the boot by voters, who does he think is responsible now? Well, Mr Speaker, in the, in the, the spirit of the right honourable lady's opening remarks, can I just say it really is a pleasure to see the Right Honourable Lady here today. I was, though, expecting to face the Labour leader's choice for the next Deputy Prime Minister if they win the election, uh, so I'm surprised that the Lib Dem leader isn't taking questions today. And, Mr Speaker, 